I hope the mic is able to pick up the sound of the water and the birds. Because it's so nice here. It's so peaceful. The house itself is really nice. The subdivision is quiet. This is a house, but it feels like a resort. It feels like a home you'd want to stay in. Day in and day out. I love it. And I hope you do too. So let's go around and do the house tour. Today we will be going around this house a lot for sale in Sufat Paranaque. But first, make sure you hit like, click, subscribe, and click on the bells to get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Presello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another Presello open house tour. So from the front, I don't know if you could tell, but we have a pretty wide facade and that's because we have a two-corner lot yes folks we have two corners and that's why it looks so wide all right so let's go in you know we have a lot of ground to cover right you can just tell okay so upon entering your uh, pedestrian gate you have here on the left your two vehicle carport one of several mind you so you have a manual gate over here that again as i mentioned fits two vehicles and you have a view of the left side of the property as well as the main house but before we explore that side we are gonna go through the main entrance first so we have here some senorita steps leading up to your main entrance as well as a garden with a path that leads to the right side of your property okay so we have here double doors but before that john and i need to take off our shoes as well as josh here we go. Please excuse my socks. And this is what will welcome you once you go in. So you have high ceiling. And it's so nice because you have so many things visually, you know, to, to take interest in. So it's nice and white and very clean and minimalist, but also you have a lot of textures to see and focus on. So here we have your living area. And I love that it's also fully furnished. 
mind you. So there are only a few key furniture pieces and, deco and uh, decorative, decorative pieces that aren't included, but for the most part, it is fully furnished. So from the so this part is a little bit lower ceiling because we go high ceiling, na, diba? So even that allows for these pin lights to be closer to the sofa, para mas maganda yung niilawan nila. In this case, your guests. <laughs> So from your living area, you can flow right through to the dining area. You have a nice picture or fixed window over here. And then on either side, you can open those to let the breeze in. But it has this very resort feel, right? It also has a view of the garden at the back. And then over here, oh, you have your kitchen. They have your galaxy black granite countertop, so if you can tell. There are nice flecks along the surface. Very, very nice to look at. And then you have storage for cupboards and then under your under uh, the, under the counter, then your provision for your refrigerator. You also have provision for your built-in microwave and oven. And then your sink looks over the service area. So come on, let's check it out. So your daily kitchen is covered, but also open, I think. <laughs> yeah. So you have your built-in sink over here and another um, counter space. So L-shaped counter with your sink and your stove, and then a bar area as a sort of breakfast nook. And then it has a lot of light because it has uh, this frosted area over here. But again, as I mentioned, it's fully covered even from that side, which has a screen door, that will lead us to the pool house. Yes, a pool house is coming. And then to this side, which leads you to the male staff quarters, as well as the staff toilet and bath, and a carport. So this one can fit a single vehicle. So we're not gonna go there because as you can see, there is a sleeping doggo and he has a very big bark. We don't wanna disturb him. This is the female staff quarter, so we're not going to go in there as well because we have some personal items. Okay. So, we have, we have something really, really good coming up there. But before that, let's finish the main house first because there's also a lot of good stuff in here and I need it. So, this is your main stairs. Very aesthetic, perfect for uh, the family portraits every year for Christmas. Am I right? That's the staple. And then here, we have the easily accessible toilet and bath for the guests, as well as for bedroom number one. So it's a shared toilet and bath. Here we go. Let me just put the door stopper here for John. It's not stopping the door. Anyway, I'll use my foot. <laughs> so we have your bedroom number one and you have a lot of Light thanks to the huge windows, and then you have a built-in closet to the left. You also have a view of, well, your perimeter garden. So that's what's nice about this house. But in a way, palapad siya, right, from the front. So the house doesn't actually touch the perimeters, the perimeter of the property, except for the service area, which you saw earlier. Okay. Oh, look at that. So nice. Okay, let's now head up. But before we do, just look at the stairs themselves. Solid wood and very nicely built. I love that you can see the underside as well. Actually, on second thought, <laughs> let's look at the pool house first. Oh wait, I need to get my shoes though. I'll go get my shoes. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna leave my shoes here first. I got them from the main entrance and I will leave my glasses so I'm not bringing them around everywhere. But before that, guys, uh, here we go. If this whole door were our entire viewership, all of you guys watching our videos, this is the only ones who are subscribed. There's only 30% of you guys who are subscribed watching our videos. Why is that? Let's open the whole glass door and make sure that everyone who watches are actually subscribed. We would super appreciate that and of course it would let us know that you are enjoying our videos because you're watching them anyway. So let us do, let us know. 
Okay, now that the glass door is open, the team and I <laughs> can continue the house tour. Okay, hold on. Let me just put on my shoes. And there we go. So this is the Nanai. You have your ceiling fans up here to make sure that the breeze circulates around. Not that you need it because honestly it's quite breezy in here. But for extra hot days, that is going to be well appreciated. You have another extension of your dining area. Because if you were um, entertaining family and friends, right? You can just open up the panels and then have some sit in the dining area and then have some sit out here as well as on the couch. So this is really, really nice. And they have a view of your garden as well as your swimming pool. So let's go there. Okay, you have pathways leading back into the daily kitchen. So that's the screen door that you saw earlier. And then you have a pathway that again leads to the, uh, the garden. And look at that. This pool looks so deep. And that's mostly because, I don't know if you can tell, but the tiles that they use for the swimming pool are small mosaic tiles. And it visually makes the pool look much deeper. And also, may a uh, infinity pool effect. Right, so the pool is actually, it actually starts from here, not here, right? I know. And then it flows all the way to the rock. So that lends its very like clean look. And then at the end, we have a shore where you can lounge, put your lounge chairs and then a jacuzzi. Oh, and then over here, we have the water closet. Oops, I turned it off. Or powder room. And then right next to that, we have the shower. Partially enclosed shower. It's so nice, right? It's like you're in a resort. And then, actually, resort is not that like a Because on this side, you have more seating, just you know, places where you can hang out and appreciate the sound of the water. And then when you want to rest or play or entertain yourselves, we have this. So it's more like a game room or recreation room. So you have a bar on the right, some tables, sofa sets. I'm sorry, I'm using my shoes. <laughs> and then a kitchen there in the back as well as provision for your refrigerator, breakfast nook, etc. So this does not have an ensuite because the toilet and bath is um, accessible from the outside. Because again, this is the pool room. Hi. Hello, Paul. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now while this may look like it's the end of the property, there's more. <laughs> so let's walk around this area. So again, more garden space. The perimeter talaga, inano nila, sinagad nila, talagang garden. And then out here, we have another two vehicle carport. Diba? So that's three carports already that we've seen. That is the staff quarters. And then the two doors that you see here on the right, na hindi na natin pupuntahan, are storage. One is the storage room, and then one is the laundry room. Basically, a room where the washing machine is without, you know, getting uh, rained on. Okay, and then this is your view of the house from the pool. Imagine living here. Right? Imagine having your friends and family over every now and then for holidays and just having fun and chilling here. This is a very pleasant house to live in. I imagine this is such a dream for kids to grow up in as well. Okay, we might have to skip some rocks. And we're back. Okay. I also love the decorative items that they have here. So I'm gonna have to take off my shoes again. There we go. And go in. 
Okay. So finally, let's head up the second floor. Did you enjoy the pool house or pool room though? Pretty cool, right? I swear I love the stairs and the flooring here on the second floor. Solid wood. Ang ganda nung... Ang ganda niya. Ang ganda ng pagkagawa. Ang ganda ng pagka-execute. Really nice material. Handled well. Okay, so on the second floor, we have this office area. You have your built-in desk as well as your storage. It's just so neat, right? And then from here, you can go to the different bedrooms. For now, let's go to this one first. <laughs> because the floors are so clean. Okay. There we go. That door stopper worked. <laughs> and here we have bedroom number two. And isn't it so pretty? So you have your desk space over here and your bed, queen sized, a corner window, some floating shelves, and a brick wall. So very aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Comment down below if you're a fan of this kind of aesthetic. Ah! <laughs> Oops, I scared myself. <laughs> Thought it was another person. <laughs> and then it has a non suite, toilet and bath with a sink, a water closet, and an enclosed shower space with a frosted window. What's that? That's a toilet and bath. Siya. And then this is the open walk through closet area. <laughs> Right next to bedroom number two, we have bedroom number three. And it's another beauty. Wait, here's the door stopper. <laughs> All right. Okay, so your desk space, your built-in shelf for your entertainment, your TV. Ah, oh, I love this lamp. And then again, your bed area with the headboard, built-in headboard. Oh, pretty. This one definitely. Um, illuminates the wall to bring out the texture of this one. So, kanina, we had white bricks. Now, we have a pale yellow wooden plant kind of uh, texture. And here you have the walk-in, or walk-in closet. And then the ensuite, toilet and bath again with your sink, your water closet, and your enclosed shower space with the frosted windows and blinds. <laughs> Okay, and then right next to this one, this is a linen closet. It's a very, very neat linen closet with shelving already, but there are a lot of personal items. But I love that you can, it, okay, I'll just let you imagine it. From this all the way to that, that's how big the linen closet is. It's not just a closet, it's a small room for all of your linen, and that is super underrated. Most houses should have a linen room that big, especially if you have a house this big. Okay, here we have bedroom number four. Okay. Oops, I'm gonna pass off the door stopper, so manual na lang. <laughs> and this one has a different motif. Again, it has that built in headboard, different texture, then it has the light here on top that will illuminate your wall clocks. <laughs> of course, different time zones. Yan. You have your window and then your built in entertainment over here. You also have the built-in desk. Obviously perfect for a PC setup. It's not your typical desk na point 40 lang. This is about points. It's actually quite large. More than point 60. Minimum point 60. Could be could be deeper. Para kasha yung CPU. <laughs> then here you have the walk-in closet or walk-through closet, and then your all suite toilet and bath with your sink, water closet, and enclosed shower space. If you can already tell, it's a lot more masculine in here, even if generally the design language is the same. So that's how you inject some personality into each room. With color, texture, and variety, even if you're still, you know, cohesive as a whole. And over here we have a hallway that looks over your living area. And look at that, you have a ledge that you can probably put some plants in. But don't fill it because it's also um, for maintaining <laughs> the windows in there. So in case you want to open the windows or you know close the, the awning part. So that's handy. But it also works as something aesthetic. And then here we have the master bedroom. This one actually has a door, door stopper. So it's <laughs> manual. 
All right, so you have a lot of bed space. And then you have access to the screen door. Na kasara. There we go. A balcony. Hold on. I can't step out too much because I'm wearing my socks. I don't want the socks to get dirty because I'm going to put the, use the socks to step inside the house. Anyway, here we have a balcony at the front of the property. And mind you, you technically don't have neighbors on your left and right since this is a double corner lot so wala kang katabi. you only have one house or houses at the back of your property and then at the front it's very quiet like it, it's am i allowed to say what it is but okay just take my word for it it's very quiet in here <laughs> and then over here we have the walk-in closet now this what was that? My hair just got in my way. This is a very, very big walk-in closet. But the thing is, we do not have access to it currently. You're just gonna have to take our word from it, for, uh, word for it, and perhaps check out the pre-seller website because the photos of this walk-in closet will be there. We just can't open it today. <laughs> and then here we have the ensuite, toilet and bath with your his and her sinks. Big sana laundry hamper. That's technically not a feature, but it's nice that it's there. Your enclosed shower space and your water closet. It's nice and bright because you have two windows, and it just feels so peaceful. Okay, so that is it for the second floor, but we're not done. We have a third floor. Let's head up there now. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna have to turn on the lights. <laughs> oh, I love how they have a sewing machine here. It's modern though, so they um, they had it built. All right, you're gonna love this one. They have an entertainment room. So it's it's gray, right? The why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the entertainment room is really, really nice. Obviously, you have a home theater system with a curved TV display. All of the audio things are here, the AV things are here. But then, when you turn around to this side, you have a bar and the kitchenette. Where you can, well, obviously for food and drinks, right? And then, some more storage and a piano and access to an ensuite <laughs> toilet and bath with your sink, water closet, and shower space. Because the thing is, if you didn't need an entertainment room, you could turn this into a bedroom, no problem. I mean, why not have a kitchen in your bedroom, right? Sure, <laughs> if that's your cup of tea, this is your house. But as it is, as an entertainment room, this is pretty cool. And then the last room, Okay, normally we don't show storage anymore, but I just wanted to show you this one, even if there are personal items. Because this is a storage room, obviously, right? But it's still so bright. Lights aren't even on. It's bright because there are two windows over here. A lot of storage rooms don't have windows, like direct windows that lead to the outdoors or to the out external part of the house. So this is a welcome thing. I wish more houses had storage like this. At least it's not musty. Nisha nagaami kulog. And it's bright. Okay, time for a recap. Oh, I love these. So nice. Okay, so we have 814 square meters of lot area and then 614 square meters of floor area. That's right. Mas malaki yung lot, hindi nila pinuno. Kasi nga naman, why? Ang laki, ang laki nung lote mo. And you want to preserve some of the outdoor areas or garden areas, right? So, that is, hands down, a good design choice. In my opinion. Comment down below if you share the same opinion. And then we have two stories, five bedrooms, six toilet and baths, and a five-vehicle car. Oh, well, five vehicles within three different carports. Ayan, so two in the front, two on the other side and then one 
on the other side. And then you have several guest parking out in front because you have such a such an expansive facade that you can have several cars park in front of your uh, in front of your property. And then you have several entertainment areas. You have one on the top floor, you have a pool room, you have a swimming pool, a jacuzzi, you have a lanai, a big lanai, mind you. And then again, as I mentioned, garden space all around, except for the back because you have a daily kitchen. And this is inside a very exclusive subdivision in Sukat Paranyahe. Like, it's a nice subdivision, it's quiet. Then you've got, um, you can have a basketball court in your common areas. So it's, it's a very nice subdivision. So if you know anyone who might be interested in this, send this video to them or if you want to see it for yourself, as you should. I'm quite certain that when you see the stairs for yourself, you'd be amazed too. Ang ganda ng quality, ng buong bahay. So send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.